Hi everyone, it's Julie. We are on our way to see Elvis live at the Alhambra Dinner Theater tonight. So I thought what a perfect opportunity that would be to get glammed up for this evening's show. And we're gonna try two foundations today, just like last week. We're gonna compare Saint Cream Makeup, which I absolutely adore. It's all in one palette, customized to what you like. And then we have Selena Gomez's Rare Beauty. Okay, this is a liquid foundation. So we're gonna see how the liquid foundation compares to the cream makeup by Saint. Um, which side is which, we're gonna see which side you prefer. All right, let's get to it. All right, let's get started. Today, we're gonna use Selena Gomez's Rare Beauty. This foundation comes in 48 shades. It has a botanical blend of lotus gardenia and white water lily. It soothes, it calms, and nourishes the skin. It's non-comedogenic, dermatologist tested, and suitable for even sensitive skins, okay? So I have the sample in my drawer. I'd like to try it. Um, tonight, I'm gonna go see Elvis, or a um, Elvis tribute artist. I think his name is Ted Torres Martin. We're gonna go to the Alhambra Dinner Theater, and we're going to see um, what Elvis may have been like, because I was not alive when Elvis was alive. And we're gonna compare it again to Saint. Um, this is my custom palette of makeup. I love having everything in one palette. You can see I do use it quite a bit, um, but I have foundation, blush, concealer, eyeshadow, powder, and bronzer and contour all in one palette. So let's go ahead. I have already prepped, of course, using, if you watch my videos, um, this Tear Mare Toner. It is an anti-aging toner that I was gifted. I really like it. It has aloe and tea tree in it. Then I follow up with my Dior Capture Total Le Serum. This is a beautiful texture, guys. It is amazing. It is so soft and silky and absorbs very fast into your skin. So it's great for underneath makeup. It's great for the morning. As you know, in the evening times, I use my Curology Future Formula. Um, Future Proof Formula Curology. It is a tretinoin treatment that also contains azelaic acid and niacinamide. Okay, I use a percentage of 0 0.05 and that really helps keep my skin looking glassy <coughs> and smooth. So the Dior is kind of a comprehensive anti-aging uh, product. It helps lift, it firms, it helps with dark spots um, and wrinkles. So it's an all-in-one product. So for my sunscreen, I am using up probably my last bottle. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get my hands on another bottle. It is sold out everywhere online. I think the only place you can get it now is in an Ulta store. Um, some of the Ultas still have some in stock, but this is the Exuviance Skin Caring BB Fluid with SPF 50. It is an amazing sunscreen and it works amazingly underneath the same. It does not cause any extra oil or shine or grease, and it actually helps prolong the wear of the Saint makeup. So I really, really, really adore this product. I did go ahead and order the Super Goop CC Screen SPF 50 tinted sunscreen to try. So I will let you know when I get that in and we'll do um, a review on that and see if it compares. Hopefully it will. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the Selena Gomez. I am go I, my skin feels like it's ready to take the makeup. So I'm going to choose a color. So in this packet, there is a primer. There is a color called 160 C. There is a color called 250 W. There is a color called 340C, and I'm imagining that the C stands for cool and W for warm, and then 450 neutral, and then we have a 540C. So I'm thinking I will probably be maybe, I, I don't know, let's see here. I don't wanna put on something too light. I'm thinking that I will probably be the 250 warm. I'm gonna go for that one. I think the 340C is going to be too dark. So we're gonna go for that one. 
but we could always do a swatch and see and see okay that almost that's too orange looking do you guys see that i don't think that's gonna work for me that's way too warm so last week i tried kat von d and the colors that i received were perfect were perfect match so let's try the 160c this is a cooler tone let's try that one it's almost too light. Mm, I'm not liking these colors so far. This is not good. All right, let's go for the 340C. I don't know. These colors are very kind of, none of these colors are really good guys. None of these colors are a good match for me. I don't know what I'm gonna do, huh? So we don't have a good color in this packet for someone with my skin tone. And I would say I'm a pro I'm probably a very common light to medium skin tone, but these are all too orange or too, too light or pink. I, I guess what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to mix um, these two colors together to create more of a neutral shade. So I'm just going to blend these together. Okay. So let's take, um, I guess, some dots of this yellowy one and some dots of the cooler shade. Now, to be fair, this is not a cream. Like the Kat Von D at least was a cream very similar to the Saint. All right, let's try blending these together and see what we get. Okay, I'm gonna get my mirror and see what's happening. So we have to mix our colors with the Selena Gomez. All right, that's much better. I can tell that this is gonna work by mixing those colors together. We get pretty, pretty decent shape match. I'm sure they most, they most likely have a color, but we just don't have it in the sample packet. This is actually a very full coverage, probably more so than I like. I don't really like too full of a coverage because I think I have pretty good skin. So I'm using mostly this cooler color. Even, even mixing these two together, I still feel very like orangey. And I'm not missing the liquid. It's just not blending. It's very much breaking up, showing pores. It's heavy coverage, very full coverage, very full coverage. I'm gonna get my, um, my Saint Beauty sponge. Like I've got my Saint sponge here. This is our Saint Perfector sponge. I've just added a little bit of water. Let's try to get some of this to come up. It's too much coverage. It's just adding way too much texture. Looks a lot better with the sponge. And it might be something that is better applied with a perfecter like beauty blender type sponge it looks a lot better okay all right it is a really pretty finish i will say that the finish of the makeup is really pretty i think that i'm going to give it credit by saying that i will i will say that if i remember correctly when i use liquids i preferred a blender sponge brushes and liquids are just too heavy the sponge just ensures that you get just the right amount. Okay, that's a lot better. Still some texture on the forehead. You have to be very careful. 
with with the makeup but a lot a lot better with the sponge all right now we're going to go into the saint i'm going to make sure that i have cleaned my brush and we're going to compare um i feel really bad because i don't like to give anybody a bad review on something that they feel passionate about so i'm going to say apply the the rare beauty with a sponge a beauty blender okay could be me i didn't do my research all right now i'm going to go in with the saint and we're going to apply the saint athens this is the athens color it's a really popular shade it's been sold out many times over because it just evens out the skin um i'm just going to go in and i'm going to my favorite way is just to dab my brush into the product. Super easy. And then we just kind of bounce it around. And then you can see it's just so natural. Very buildable. I can see right away that Selena Gomez's Rare Beauty, it really does want to kind of cling to the pore. But one thing that the Rare Beauty does have is it has added ingredients to help with like soothing and, and anti-aging and whatnot. Uh, Saint, our makeup is just very simple. That doesn't mean it's bad. It's just really good at giving you a beautiful texture and finish. And then you use what products you want underneath to provide that anti-aging, okay? So this is the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty. This is the Saint. I did not have to apply as much and I did not have to work it in as much. It's just a really easy product to, you know, put on and get out the door in the morning. I absolutely love it. Now we're gonna do some brows. So I'm gonna do this really quickly and then we'll be right back. As you know, I love my NV plus one Saint Demi cream for the brows. We'll do this really quickly. There it is. I'm going to go change into my outfit for tonight's performance. I'm going to be going to see Elvis or an Elvis tribute artist at the Alhambra Dinner Theater. And uh, I wanted to get dressy. So I'm going to be right back. Okay. Okay, everyone, I'm back. I've got, you know, this really beautiful shimmery dress on and we're going to go ahead and continue the look. We're gonna go ahead and provide some contour. I'm gonna use my Saint Detail Contouring Brush, which I love, with the color Olive here. I'm just gonna take the brush, it's a wedge-shaped brush, and you get just that perfect amount on the bottom here, and I'm gonna create the appearance of cheekbones. <clears throat> really love this about Saint, that it has a designated contour and you have a variety of colors to choose from. There are a ton of contour shades, so you don't have just like one or two options. You have cool, warm contours, ashy contours, neutral contours. There's a whole bunch. And there it is over the Selena Gomez foundation. It is really pretty. Okay. So of course I'll have to come back later and show you guys how the Selena Gomez compares to the Saint side. And what is the longevity factor? Isn't that pretty? I have a lot of light on this side, so I'm kind of not seeing it as much as I do over here. So let me keep going. So Selena Gomez's Rare Beauty was definitely 
more coverage than what I was used to. But again, I applied it with a brush. And I think the trend is to do sponges. A lot of people like the sponge nowadays, which I couldn't agree more. For a liquid foundation, a sponge is really a nice thing to use. I'm gonna do some contouring. This is a quicker video today because I am in a hurry, but you can see I have the number 11 with a strip of lighter skin down the center. I'm gonna blend that just a bit. And I love the way Saint Contour transforms the face. It just gives you this just polished, beautiful look. It's effortless. Anybody can get it if you have the right tools. Just gives me a really pretty nose. All right, I just did a little bit on the top. Now let's go in and do some on the forehead. Kind of frame the face. And you get that bit of highlight right here, which is what you want. You want that beautiful glow right there. Let's go along the jawline, still using olive to create shape. Okay, so again, this is the Saint Cream Makeup side. We're both, we're using uh, the Saint Olive Contour on both sides. Okay, now we're gonna go in and do some concealer on the eyes. Let's see what we got here. I like to use Saint Demi, which is right here. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do some of the R03 which is this color right here, all underneath. I'm gonna take the smaller end of the same brush that I used to contour, and I'm gonna go in and just kinda subtly brighten and lighten this area underneath the eye. I had some severe puffiness this morning because I had to get up early. and I was tired, but it's gone away since then. Now I like to go in with um, a little bit of this really light pink color. I think that this is, let me see what color this is. This is OR1, OR1, orange red one, and this just kind of gives a little bit more pop right here in the shadowy area. And then finally, I like to use the O1, just the plain old O1 right here. It's really a popular color and it gives a pop in the inner corner. Love it. And see how bright the eyes are now. So let me just make sure I don't have too much. I'm going to take this perfector sponge and just go underneath, kind of press it in. Okay, really nice little sponge there. Okay, so now we can have fun with some shadows. There are my Saint shadows here. I have most of them in here. Um, for tonight, let's do some sparkle. I'm gonna do this color here, which is, I believe it's Cafe, or, oh, Angel's Landing. It's like my favorite color. It's such a beautiful color. You can see Angel's Landing is 
so pretty. It'll go really nicely with the outfit that I'm wearing. Let me get a little mirror that I can use to look into. And we're gonna apply some right on the lid. With these lashes by Lilac Street, these are my at-home extensions. I don't have to wear a lot of shadow or eyeliner for that matter because the lashes just really make the eyes look complete even when you don't have those things on, when you don't have eyeshadow on. Look at how pretty that is. The Angel's Landing is so pretty. Love it. Okay, now let's try like a matte color in the crease. I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for something different today. Let's try, um, Cafe is a really pretty milky chocolate. I'm gonna rotate the brush to the other side and we're just gonna get a little bit of this here and put Cafe into the crease. It's just really soft brown color kind of like an ashy brown. Doesn't have any red tones in it. This is gonna help open up the eye by going above the crease and windshield wipering that on. Take a little bit underneath too. Okay, here's my favorite liquid liner. This is the NYX um, Epic Ink Liner in black. This is the tip. It is so effortless. I love wearing this. And it's gonna be hard to get in with these lashes, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it anyways. Just kind of lay it horizontal. And it gives me like a little wing there. Just a little bit of the Stila. Stila smudge stick stay all day and smoky uh, quartz, smoky quartz. Really light brown. We'll do some mascara for tonight. Don't normally wear mascara on the bottom during the day for school and work because um, it does tend to smear. So I'm just gonna do a little bit for this evening. Really pretty, simple eye look. Beautiful. And now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to line my lips with the Olive Contour. Okay, the same contour that I use for my face. I have a lip brush. This is the liner brush from Saint. It has a really small applicator on one end and a paddle brush on the other. I 
line our lips with that. It's a really pretty neutral liner. Okay, I've got my deluxe palette here. I actually custom uh, created this top layer here. This is a Saint Pro palette. Um, it's the largest one that they sell and I took alcohol inks and I had fun. I went to town with it. So our lip colors, they come in a matte or satin formula. Actually, these are the glosses. Excuse me. These are the gloss colors. They have a shine. And then we also have the matte. I usually do a matte followed by a shine on top. So I think for tonight, I'm going to go for something very soft. So my eyes really stand out. I'm going to go for Melody. I don't know if Melody is still available, but it's a beautiful color, similar to Frenchie. So I don't want something super pink today. So we're going to go in with Melody. If I take my finger and warm this product up, you can just see how subtle that is. This is the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty side. This is the saint. Look at how pretty Melody is without being like overly pink. It's just such a, a beautiful, fresh blush of color. Great for a smoky eye. And now I'm gonna do my favorite lip product, which is the Makeup Forever HD Ultra boost lip boost color um sorry makeup forever ultra hd lip booster it is the perfect complement to um saint satin lip colors which can go on very dry on the lips you just put this on first let it sit for a few minutes while we're letting that sit we're going to do some setting spray. This is the Saint Stay Spray. We're going to do that all over while my hair is still wet. I like to do my setting spray when my hair is still wet and not and it's not been dry. Dried. We're going to take a fan and just fan this in. Is I'm going to let the lip booster set in and I'm going to Go do my hair with my Blanche Le Volume Eleve brush that you've seen in my other videos. I'm going to do my hair with that and then I'll be right back. <laughs> with my vanilla dust powder. I have two side by side, taking my brush, just rolling it over those two, and then we can kind of get that air brushed finish. I just love this blush and bronzer brush. It's great, the large end is great with the powder. We just go right over that lip liner. 
For under the eyes, I like to take the small end of the shape brush and just do a little bit over my Saint um, Demi. And now we can do a little bit of the shimmer products. We have a new one that I wanna try. I just got it in, it is called, let's see what this one is called, it's falling apart. These are just terrible. They're notorious for just breaking up, but they are so pretty. So I just kind of smash it down again. This one is called Goldie. So there's Goldie, I have to be very careful. We're gonna use Goldie tonight. I'm going to use the, I think this is the wash brush. We're just gonna take a little bit of Goldie and we're gonna take this and brush it right on the top of the cheeks for that Elvis glow. And now that I think about it, Saint has an eyeshadow called Graceland, which I should have used tonight, but I did not. Isn't that pretty? Okay, now for the finishing kick. We're gonna add a lot of shine. We're going to do the, and we're gonna go in with Melody with our lip brush. Do that on the lips. It's that perfect nude. Do light pink princess cut. Normally I do pink. We don't want to go that route today. We want to do more of a gold. I'm going to take some of this goldie right on the center of the lip. And now we're going to take this and we're going to go right over the top. This is a fabulous lip plumper. If I've ever seen one before, it's awesome. I think we're almost done. We're just gonna get the hair ready. Okay, so again, we have Selena Gomez, Saint. We'll see which one we like better. sleek like this is kind of pretty yeah or maybe tucked behind the ear kind of like it tucked kind of like it tucked where that earring is showing okay so there's the look we're going to come back in a few hours and see which foundation is best we're going to come back and see 
how Selena Gomez Rare Beauty holds up, which looks fabulous right now. And then the same, we're gonna compare, okay? So I'll be right back in a few hours. We're gonna enjoy the Elvis show and we'll share with you about this makeup. All right, we'll see you later. Hey everybody, we are at the Alhambra Dinner Theater. We're going to go see Ted Torres Martin. He is an Elvis tribute artist, okay? And we're gonna check in later this evening to see which side held up. We have Selena Gomez Rare Beauty Foundation. You can see it in this beautiful Florida sunlight here on the right. And then on this side, we have the Saint Cream Makeup in Athens. So we'll see which one holds it better, but they are absolutely beautiful, aren't they? All right, we're gonna go enjoy the show and we'll check back. just got back from the dinner theater. We saw Ted Torres Martin as Elvis. He is amazing. His voice is amazing. It sounds just like Elvis. Um, his band is out of this world crazy good. Um, so we really enjoyed the night. Um, maybe we can even promote him by linking his information below. But anyways, I just wanted to kind of come on and show you um, my makeup. I have not touched up since three o'clock today. That's when I applied the makeup. Um, let's take a look. Let's take a close look. I'm gonna lean in. Um, I've I've reapplied just a little bit of color on my lips since it did fade. It was a dinner theater. So we had um, a three course meal. We had uh, a choice of salad, soup, and then um, the entree which was delicious. It was a Memphis barbecue with um, pasta salad and uh, cornbread. And then I had the upside down pineapple cake. Um, but anyways, um, I just wanted to show you the makeup. This side, I'm gonna take a look in the mirror because I'm kind of curious too. It's been seven or eight hours since I put this on. This side is the Selena Gomez rare uh rare beauty um it looks really nice i did have some trouble applying it um first of all the samples that they sent me um, or that i received from sephora i think the colors were not quite my color and i had to blend two colors together and then when i when i was blending it with the brush it was such a heavy coverage that the dots that i had applied to my face were way too much. And so what I ended up having to do was take a um, a beauty blender sponge. Well, this is not really the brand beauty blender, but this is the Saint Perfector, which is similar to the beauty blender. It's got like a piece, a chunk missing because it's so old, but I don't normally have to use this with Saint because the Saint makeup goes on perfectly with the brush. I don't feel like I have to remove excess product, but with the Rare Beauty, absolutely. I had too much product on my face, and then once I used that blender sponge, it, it looked really nice, it really did. And it is long lasting. Everything else over the Rare Beauty was Saint, including the powder. So it does have a nice matte finish. It didn't get oily. Um, the Saint, just like with the Kat Von D, the Saint is more natural. It doesn't show as much heavy 
texture, okay? It doesn't look as much like makeup as uh, the Rare Beauty, um, and it has more of a glow, okay, which I like. It looks more like skin to me. I don't see the, the caking that I see here on the side here, right here. I see a lot more pores. Um, yeah, I think the Saint is phenomenal so far comparing it to other foundations. Not that the other foundations are not good, but ever since trying Saint, it's really hard to beat the texture on this. So I don't know which side do you prefer? Okay, um, this definitely has a fuller look, but they both look great and they both performed very, very well. And I think I'll continue to review more and more products, guys, because it's really helpful to my, um, my watchers. So I'll continue to do that. Um, I do need to uh, purchase a new sunscreen since it appears that Exuviance sunscreen, which I absolutely love and adore, um, is going to not be available. It just doesn't seem to be uh, coming back into stock anytime soon. So I have ordered a Supergoop uh, CC screen, which I'm gonna try out. That should be coming soon. So I will continue to post every weekend and I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could subscribe and like this video, that would be awesome. I used to not care, but I do care. I wanna know um, that you guys are enjoying these videos. It makes it so worth the while. All right, everybody have a wonderful and blessed weekend. We will see you guys next week. All right, see you later. Thanks for watching.